Looking into my past, I now realize that back in school and university, I just did physics because it was the easiest thing, required the least effort. It's much later, well past PhD, almost at the age of 30, when suddenly understood how the world works or different physics topics kind of clicked together and I really fell in love with the subject and with understanding of nature. It kind of, like I say, clicked uh, for me, but it was much, much later. When I started doing physics, it was because it was the easiest of all options. My lab investigates and, and develops all sorts of plastics, just seeing what we can, we can do with them. Maybe the most exciting is the liquid crystalline materials, like the ones in the display of your laptop, where we polymerize, cross-link them, and um, the materials become uh, physically intelligent. They uh, can change shape like artificial muscles or respond in color to deformation. Uh, we call it materials with, with intelligence. We also are very concerned about the uh, sustainability and green economy, and so I'm really pleased with our uh, progress in uh, biological polymers. We work with cellulose and ketazan trying to uh, also make them into the smart, intelligent materials with uh, active properties. On some level, liquid crystalline materials already impacted the world in, in the displays of your uh, laptops, but perhaps the biggest and the most exciting for us uh, topic or dream, if you want, is um, what we call Plastic 2.0. We are all familiar with this problem of plastic recycling. We all see these piles of, of plastic rubbish around the world, which can only be incinerated because they are not mixed together very well. So what we are working on is developing uh, ways of chemically bonding them uh, into universal plastic materials, no longer polypropylene, polyurethane, or polypropylene. It's a, a new material, which is plastic, uh, which has even better properties and can be uh, recycled again and again. That's our dream.